You might notice that there are a lot of candles behind me today, and that's because today I'm going to be talking about aromatherapy candle making. So uh, first a bit of background on this whole thing. So I've been um, pretty depressed for the past few months and um, now I'm finally feeling like I'm getting a bit better and one of the things that I heard was really helpful to you know stabilize mood, reduce anxiety, kind of make you, help you calm down and even sleep was aromatherapy. So the first thing I did was I got this uh, essential oil diffuser and it got some essential oils and this thing just basically makes a mist uh, of whatever essential oil blends you put in there, which is cool. But then something crazy happened. It was my birthday a couple weeks ago and my boyfriend ordered me something in the mail and it came and it was a candle making kit and ever since then I've been obsessed. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you my candle making process for aromatherapy. The kit he bought me comes uh, with enough wax to make eight candles. So uh, I've made four different aroma blends and two candles of each one. These are the candles that I've made. I love these little tin boxes, they're super cute. Here's the, uh, the aroma blend, the best day, clean, safe and sound, and begin again. And yes, before you ask, I did name my blends after Taylor Swift songs, fight me. If you take the lid off, uh, the candle is just like this. It's kind of creamy colored it smells amazing <laughs> that's just giving myself a compliment because i made the blends but yeah amazing and i will be talking more about the specific blends and what they smell like a bit later but what i'm really excited about today is that i've ordered some extra candle making stuff so uh some more wax some more tins and most importantly wax dye and hopefully i'll be showing you all that stuff today if they arrive <laughs> it's pretty much night time now but everything has arrived which is amazing and actually i've already started a bit of making a candle and i may have messed up a little bit but i'll just show you what i'm doing this is pretty much the setup uh this drug came with the candle making kit it's really useful just to have with drugs specifically for that uh, then here is my wax <laughs> and my essential oils and my wax dyes. Here are the first two candles which I just made to test out the, the uh, dyes. So these are for my um, blend which I've called Out of the Woods. And as you can see, these jars are pretty empty. So this time I'm going to use a bit more wax so <laughs> I don't actually have a scale. If I did, it would be very helpful. The next blend I'm going to be working on is my Sparks Fly blend. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is to stick these wicks to the bottom of the drawer. So uh, luckily I have these useful stickers for this. So really all you have to do is just stick that down in the middle, peel the cover away, and stick this down. I mean mine's not really in the middle but I'm not too fussy. So the next thing you have to do is basically melt the wax. So <laughs> uh, I bought this one kilogram bag of wax which i thought was a great deal because it was like three pounds but i've realized a flaw in the system just now in that i have no way of measuring this so i'm just gonna pour and see how much wax i end up with last time uh, for out of the woods i ended up with too little i figure it's probably better to end up with too much because then you just have some extra you can get rid of other than you know having a tiny candle <laughs> For this one, Sparks Fly, I am going to be going a bit overboard, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. This is the amount of wax that I've decided to um, place my bets on. We're just going to wait for that to melt. So now that it's pretty much melted, I'm going to add the dye. I'm going to be using chartreuse, so this is an amount, <laughs> which hopefully will produce a nice color. So we're just going to put that in and watch that dissolve too. You can see it's already giving off a lot of color. Hopefully it won't be too dark because I have another one that's also green and um, I want this one to be a bit lighter than that. It's been a minute and I think the color has actually turned out really nice so I'm really happy with that. Now the next thing we want to do is add the essential oils. <laughs> Nothing told me to do this but I figured if it's hot then they might diffuse into the air and maybe the candle won't be as potent so I'm doing that at the last point that I can. So these are the three essential oils that are needed for this particular blend. A total of 50 drops, so 50 drops for two candles. Okay, so I really wish like smell vision existed because this smells absolutely amazing. The lemongrass and the 
cinnamon makes me want to eat it. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> the last step now is to just pour this into our candle molds. I have these um, metal things just to hold the wicks uh, in the right position. Get the last drops on there. Overall, I think my measuring skills have improved a lot. Look, this is much closer to the rim. This has been a win. Sparks fly. While I wait for these guys and the previous ones to solidify, I'm just going to be making <laughs> four more blends of candles. This is how I spend my evenings. Okay, so it is now the next morning. <laughs> Very sunny day and i've let the candles settle in overnight and i think they've turned out really good okay so let me just show you it's a whole rainbow of colors the wax dye did good okay now as i promised earlier i will be talking a bit about the different blends and the aromas that they have for this i've split my 10 blends into four general groups. We're gonna start with these two which are Out of the Woods and uh, New Year's Day. These two actually overlap quite a lot in their aroma so both of them have peppermint and rosemary kind of fresh minty herbal uh, smells. Where they differ is that Out of the Woods is a bit sweeter uh, whereas um, New Year's Day is just full-on mint freshness. <laughs> Has like eucalyptus and stuff. So these two uh, I've grouped together just because they're both kind of this minty vibe, they're energizing and also like refreshing for the room. A new day, new start kind of feeling. All right, the next group I've got is uh, these three. So we've got uh, The Best Day, Begin Again, and Sparks Fly. And the reason I've put these all together is because they're all pretty well-rounded smells. They've got um, like a woody, herby, base note. The base note is kind of the scent that you feel at the back of your nose, at the bottom of your nose, it feels kind of deep. All of these have got pretty woody or herbal base notes like tea tree, and then they also have citrus top notes, so uh, lemongrass or orange for example. And the middle is where they differ a bit because these two um, actually have floral middle note, things like palma rosa or geranium, whereas this one has cinnamon which just makes me want to eat it. The third grouping I've got is clean and breathe one word titles but that's not why i group them together as you can probably tell from the names they're all very um cleansing they smell a bit like cleaning products but that's because cleaning products have a lot of like lemon and citrusy smells in them these two share the fact that they have this strong citrus uh component to them, particularly grapefruit. Both of them have grapefruit. I love grapefruit because it smells so cleansing, but it's also really sweet and I'm a sucker for sweet smells. And they are a bit different because clean is a bit more um, floral overall and breathe is a bit more like minty and refreshing, but they're both very light and cleansing. And finally, we've got our last group, uh, which I might be slightly biased towards because I love sweetness. This is safe and sound, wildest dreams, and I know places. These ones all kind of share the fact that they're quite sweet and floral and sagey as well. Sage, I wouldn't say is fully floral, it's a bit Technically, it's a bit more herby, but it's quite sweet and it blends really well with floral smells, in my opinion, anyway. Safe and Sound is a bit different in that it's a bit lighter. Both of the essential oils in there are top notes, so it's a bit of a light, airy kind of smell. Whereas these two are a bit more well-rounded. And let me just tell you, when I was making the Wildest Dreams candle, it, it had me like on the floor weeping because it smelled amazing, just because it smelled really sweet, basically. Overall, this group, I'd say, uh, is good for kind of creating that nice sweet atmosphere, kind of grounding you in the moment and also kind of helping you sleep because it's just really pleasant smells. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how uh, useful or interesting all of that was. Candle making has been really helpful for me in these past few weeks, so I thought I'd just uh, share a bit of that with you. If it looks fun, you could give it a try. So why do I think this is helpful for um, me or someone with depression? I think one aspect of it is that it does, it's like, it's a hands-on practical thing. So, you know, you're staying busy with your hands so you're not in your head all the time, which is, you know, a big problem for uh, people with depression. And also it's got that kind of instant, <laughs> instant gratification, instant satisfaction, you know, a few hours and you've got all these candles right in your hand and they're all just done immediately and you can, you know, feel good about yourself. Then for me personally, I've always, really liked scented candles and I've always loved creative activities and DIY and stuff like that so it kind of combines a lot of the interests that I already have so it seems like it was pretty perfectly made for me and finally I mean 
while you're making it, you're smelling all these aromas, which is already making you feel better. Aromatherapy be like that. And then after you've made them, you have all these candles that you can then use again for more aromas. Like, that's amazing. I'm not actually entirely sure if it's cheaper to make your own candles than to just like buy a candle but this way you know exactly what's going in it you can choose what aromas you want what colors you want what tins you want everything is your choice in my opinion that's the most important thing so future me have you continued making candles have you started a candle store on etsy let me know and i'm just gonna wait here for my next package to arrive all right bye is that a street cleaner like one of those street cleaning vans I swear they come like twice a day here. It's a street that gross.